the Cran Neely Radio Show. Yo, 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 Cran Neely Radio Show, baby. We back in the building. What's going on, y'all? Guess what? I said he was going to come. He here. What's up, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What it be like? Hey. The one and only Carolina King Chuck T in the building. DJ Chuck T, man. What's happening, bro? What you got going on, man? What's up? Man, y'all know uh, from the moment I wake up in the morning about 7.30 Ooh. to the time I lay down probably yeah. around about... 1 a.m. I'm working, man. You working, bro? You grinding? How yes, long you been sir, out yes, here sir. grinding, bro? How long you been in this man, game, bro? She, it just really all depends on on what you consider being in the game. You know, um, I started rapping fresh out of well, you know what? I wasn't out of high school. I was still in high school. <laughs> okay. It was about uh about 12th grade, man. Okay. That was um about 98. 98. You know what I'm saying? 98. Okay. Yeah, I, I recorded an album um with me and some uh. Some of my homeboys from the uh, hood, you yep. know what I'm saying? It's called PCP. PCP. You know what I'm what saying? What that saying for? Oh, P- Port City Productions. That was the name of the label. You okay. know what I'm saying? I, I mean, I actually still you had still a label. You still use that? Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, you know, it was started by, you know, my brothers, some of the big homies from the hood. I heard and that. And then, um, you know, they ended up getting into a little bit of trouble and signing the company over to me. Oh. You know, and then from there, you know, I just kept it alive. You know, I, I, I stopped rapping mm-hmm. roughly around about 2001. Okay. You know, I just felt like, you know... You know, some of these rappers, they, they good with lying to people. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, why? See, see why I, man, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? See, yeah. I'm just I'm just 100% real. So, yeah. you know, somebody like me, I didn't feel right getting on records saying that I, you know, I I, I moved boatloads of kilos. And <laughs> I had choppers in the car. And, <laughs> but that's what you got to do, and, though, and, Chuck. And, and everything. You got to do that, though. No, I can't no, do that. You nah. know what I'm saying? But no, no, no. I feel you. And, and, and there's been this a lot of... Uh, a lot of um people do do that they sell entertainment but right. you know when i get on the mic or with anything i do i just got to keep it 100 so, so you came in with the with the rapping and then you got to the dj yeah, because yeah, yeah, you yeah. got tired like you didn't want to be a part of that you exactly. wanted to do something i didn't want to be a part of the circus man okay so you, you know what i'm saying so so like when you got into dj and like was it like a dj did you saw dj or was it like you just like music or no 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 i like music so you know i sat back for a minute and you know um I just said to myself, I love music so much, I want to see what I can do. So I tried my hand at producing, didn't really fit me. Okay. Tried promoting parties a little bit here and there. Okay. That didn't really fit me, yeah. you know. And then finally one day, you know, uh, you know, I got a job at a radio station. Okay. But it was on the, in the sales department. Okay. You, you know were selling. What I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was selling ass because you know I've been a salesman my whole life. Selling ass. Okay. So uh, from there. You know, I just started, uh, you know, playing around a little bit, watching the DJs here and there, you know, but messing around out. on the turntables check, check, here and there. Check this out. You know? The first time I heard of DJ Chuck T, I was on, um, it was a website called Realist.com. I can't say okay. the word. You know what I'm talking about, right? No, 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 no. no. I you, think I know what you're talking about. Like, like, it used to be a website where you can just, you can't do that stuff no more. You can just download songs and mixtapes and stuff like that, like files and stuff. Mm-hmm. And um, I kept seeing DJ Chuck T. I was like, what is a DJ? Like, I didn't know what it was. Like, this had been like 04. Oh yeah. three, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, you, you, I know, I know, I got my dates right. Like you was on the, in the on, online no, no, back yeah, then yeah, doing yeah, stuff. No, no, no. So yeah. I, like had a lot of instrumentals. Like you had a lot of instrumentals. Yeah, yeah, you was yeah, putting yeah, them yeah. down, and yep. I used to try to rap off instrumentals. And I was like DJ Chuck T. I said that sound like Chuck Town, but I never knew who who it was, exactly. but I knew the name. Exactly. So my thing is this: I want to ask you this, bro. Like even back then, how did you? Get break into the internet and break into like just knowing that like what what like what how did that happen? You know what I'm well, saying? Well, you know, being from South Carolina, we don't really have a lot of major cities. We don't have a lot of uh, major artists right. come from here. A lot of major producers. We well, we got we got people who are from here. They just don't rap. You right. know what I'm saying? They go right. elsewhere and rap. So um, at that point in time in my life, you know. Uh, I couldn't really move around like that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So like, you had to use that you net. Know, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I just had a child. Okay. Um, you know, I have real grown man responsibilities. Yeah. So, you know, hopping on the road and going to Atlanta and you going to New that. York and going to Miami, you know, it wasn't it wasn't in, in, in it wasn't in real life goals for me. You know right. what I'm saying? So I had to utilize the internet. Plus, you know, there wasn't a lot of record reps that came through. So I used to get a lot of my music off of the internet. A lot of people, well, you know, a lot of people probably don't now. Yeah. But if you, if you back 20, then, 26 did. and up, you remember Napster. Napster, yeah. You know what that's, I'm saying? That's when um, they exactly. messed the industry up. He messed exactly. the industry up. So I used to download a lot of tracks off of Napster, a lot of albums, and I put them together, and I had my own mixtapes. And yeah. then, like, when I was rapping, I saw this. Uh, I sort of saw that DJs weren't really promoting the the indies like that. Right. I would download 
the major people's tracks, right? And then throw in some of the Carolina artists. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Formula I still have to this day. You, you know what I'm saying? Do eight, it. eight nine years later, you still do. You know it. what I'm saying? And, yeah. And uh, you know, I put them in the stores on consignment, sold them out my trunk, Ooh. put them in gas stations, and you know, clothing stores. So check and all this out. Man. Pretty much you what you are saying is to, any, to anybody that's listening out there, anybody that's on the grind trying to come up, trying to figure out, you did. He did it for himself, and he was thinking. You know what I'm saying? He thought outside the box and he just did something that needed to be done. So really, you a smart dude, man. Yeah, I mean, well, it wasn't rocket science because, you know, when I was out here studying the game, first and foremost, I'm a student of the game. And whenever right. you get into the game, any game, yeah. you got to be a student and learn from the right. people doing it. So when I'm looking at K Slay's mixtapes and Envy's mixtapes and Clues mixtapes, yeah. you know, Cutmaster C's mixtapes. Oh, 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 we got to oh, blank it out. Chuck, oh, too, we can't, be, we can't oh, do that, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, Hey, you know, you know I'm used to the internet radio now. <laughs> Now, you know what I'm saying? That's <laughs> FCC, baby. Yeah, yeah, come on, man. Yo. Yeah, FCC, I You're apologize. Like, Y'all can send that uh, that fine paperwork to me. Uh, <laughs> I'll take care of it. But no, 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 no. It's nah, all nah. good. It's nah, all but good. Check it. No, my, my thing is, you know, when you look at when you look at the legends in the game, they broke all the New York artists through mixtapes. Yeah. From Fabulous, the Papoose, and all that. Yeah. So it wasn't rocket science. To me, yeah, just, if just I'm gonna do it, it I'm, yeah, yeah, if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna put mine on the same so, way they put theirs on. So let me ask you this: you yeah. was in the game. Let me ask you this: back then, when you first started, who was the hottest names in South Carolina? Oh uh, man, it was a uh, Collie Green, Lil Rue, Chino <laughs> um, Dino. Yeah, that's a legend, uh, though. Uh, Molly Mall. That's a legend. Um, Fat Boy, Lil Buck. Um, Chuck Town. Up, 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 up this way in Charlotte, it was a. Uh, Young Sweet, who is now S Dub, S Dub, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, um, shout out S Dub. You, you had uh, M O S from up there in that Raleigh area. You had yeah. the P D Pablos, and you know uh, there was another dude from Charlotte named Lil P D. Lil P D. You know what I'm saying? He had a song I think it was called like Popping and Locking or something like that. Yeah, you know. But, yeah. but, um, but you forgot one. Who? Oh, oh, Cran Neely. No, no, I went, I went, no, no, I went in the game back then. But you know the four way, uh, the, uh, the four three balls. Flip. Oh, Piezo. Oh, Flip. flip. Yeah, flip. they're flipping Piezo all of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 because that's, uh, I'm going to say this, like, Flip, to me, is one of the first dudes to have his song play everyone in South Carolina. You know, yeah, how, yeah, you yeah. know how Columbia play Columbia and Charleston play Charleston, because Columbia and Charleston was the two main cities where independent artists was getting all the love. See, there, I did a, uh, I, and, this, and this is in the history books, I did the first ever show in the Carolinas that was all independent and local artists everything these people doing now i did it 10 years ago yeah you been you grinding, see what i'm boy. saying it, it, was, it was called a local explosion bro yeah bro and it was at the starrett hall in uh in charleston south carolina okay and i had i had all indies and mr flip and all uh, collard greens and them they came down yeah and it was packed i'm talking about a thousand people for Ooh. just for in the in the capacity on the place was like 850 we had a thousand people in our auditorium bro. And, and, and that's why i like you man you one of the dudes that's an example that South Carolina has talent, South Carolina has people that can do something, man. And, and, and the thing is about it, like, you made moves. Like, MTV says, like, what's, what's the MTV? They made you, like, one of the top DJs in the country. What, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, was, two, that, that, was, that was 2007. I was, like, one of the top uh, top five DJs in, um, in the country. How does that, that happen? Like, how, how do you It comes it? from grinding. It comes from <laughs> rubbing elbows and networking, man. You know, once I finally got me a little bit of bread, I said to myself, I'm going to hit the road. Okay. And, you know, I used to hit the road and come here to Charlotte. And I would, what I would basically do is find a new city I, I, would, I would burn like maybe a thousand mixtapes I would find a new <laughs> city on the map and I would go to a new city every weekend okay and, and post up in the hood yeah and ask all the people in the hood hey bro who the hottest rappers where the stores that sell mixtapes yeah and they would point me in the right direction that's how you, you know, do people it man used to always be like dang bro like man you ain't scared people gonna rob you like, right. man, why they gonna rob the dj right bro? everybody's See, a rapper they, they want to be they want to be with exactly. me versus it's trying to rob me. exactly exactly you know what I'm saying? So, i used to pull my money out right in front of a thousand two thousand dollars you know what i'm saying yeah. and they would spend money with me that's they, that, that's what i want to show to y'all man like one thing we doing right now we trying to drop knowledge man we got somebody that's been doing it like yeah. you can't be scared out here bro no. you can't you can't be worried about so like you a, i can't say that word if you out here and you you timid you ain't real you this ain't for you we, we need real people we got a real guy doing something and we making it happen and and um, it's like this. Um, Chuck T, I was going to ask you this right quick. Where did that down south come from? That down south slang come from? Down south slang came from one of my uh, one of one of my favorite songs. Okay. Uh, ever ever made. I still jam it to Ooh. this day. Ooh. It's a uh, Master P featuring Master Fiend. 
and uh and uh UGK. Okay. And on the hook he say we down south slanging, rolling with these hustlers, <laughs> trying to get rid of all you haters and you busters. Oh, oh, <laughs> hey, what year that was? What CD what, what CD that, that was? was uh, I think that Yellow was on D? that. No, no, no. That was on that There's One in Every Family, that Fiend CD. Oh, it was on Fiend CD? Yeah, it was on Fiend CD. It's Fiend song. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. And speaking of Fiend, me and him was on the phone probably about three, four days ago, man. We, um. Well, he got we, on. We doing a project, um, uh, probably come out next month. You next know month? What I'm saying? Yeah, he, he's still out here doing it. Okay. You know okay. what I'm saying? Get, yes. Putting in work. That's what's, that's what's up. That's what's up. We finna get back into this music. We got Chuck T. I thank you, boy, for coming up here, man. We gonna chill with Chuck T for a second. We all finna play that Young Jeezy, 2 Chains, R.I.P. Think that's a good record, Chuck? Man, I love that record. It had to grow on me, though, but I love it, though. <laughs> hey, let's do it, y'all. Let's go. Hey. What's up? It'd be 103.3. Yo, yo, yo. We back, y'all. Cran Neal Radio, WGIV 103.3. What's up, Dollar Sign? What's up with you? What's up, Forty? You straight? Yeah, man. What's going on? Guess who we got in the middle? Like I said, Chuck T. What's up, baby? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Down south slanging. Y'all already know how it go down, man. Hey, Chuck T., man. I heard you start a group of DJ, a coalition, man. What it's called, man? Man, we call it Authority DJs, man. We probably about, uh, about 45, maybe 50 deep right now. You know, okay. I just saw everybody talking about all this unity stuff. Unity, unity, unity. Right. And you know where the unity got to start in the Carolinas. They got to start with the DJs because right. we the ones who control the flow of music. That's right. So the artists can get united. The producers since you get united but until you can get in where you fit in the way the people can hear what right. you are making right you know it doesn't make any sense so you know my whole thing is setting up a, uh, a nice network of djs throughout north carolina south carolina we about to venture up into that uh that dmv area and just getting everybody on the same page man making That's one big push so y'all gonna make an impact and we're gonna need some artists some hot music and um so this like like this right here like this is like official it's gonna it's going yeah, yeah, down yeah, y'all we already in there y'all make the moves we already in there we already in there you know what i'm saying and it's like we not trying to be a local joker dj crew we trying to push the cream of the crop we trying to get the carolina artists out to the world but then also bring in a lot of major artists and a lot of major events here to the carolinas also. speaking of that what's going on ciaa oh man i uh i came up with a with a wonderful wonderful event called uh the ultimate hip-hop ex experience it's a music festival and okay. entertainment summit okay. uh, basically you know you know how it goes ciaa you have a lot of outsiders coming into the carolinas uh and you got a lot of promoters who try to charge these independent artists crazy amounts of money yeah. to perform and you know uh the hip-hop scene in the carolinas isn't really shown in a good light people leave from charlotte not knowing who from the carolinas is even hot so i figured i would put together an event um uh, where everybody could come out and perform uh i'm flying in a lot of big wig um uh record reps the way you know people can get educated also and you know um how much can be entertained man how much it costs oh well right now um we still got spots left in the talent showcase and um those slots are 150 but general admission 25 dollars whether you perform or not That's you need to up. be there it's, it's huge i'm talking about we encompassing so all areas of hip-hop man. so if they want to get to that they need to do what like how do they get more information oh they can log on to the website which is ultimate hip -hop experience .com. Or either they can email me directly, djchucktea at gmail.com. And speaking of DJ Chuck T, Chuck T known for his mixtape. So what mixtapes you got going on right now, well, Mr. Right Chuck? Right now, um, you know, as far as the major scene goes, I just dropped Down South Slang in 90, uh, hey. Sex Explicit Woo. Volume 75. Um, and, you know, I got a million other series also. But then, um, you know, on the independent forefront, the Mr. 704 project is in the streets right okay. now. Okay, 704. I'm working on a project for S-Dub. I'm working on a project for Tiger Days. I'm working on a project for a main event out of uh, Edgefield, South Carolina. And me and Molly Maul from down there in Charleston about to give up and do a Boy, you working, one, man. Right? You always working, man. That's oh, all day. All day. It don't stop. That's DJ Chuck T, man. DJ Chuck T dot com, right? Yes, sir. And that's where you go get your mixtapes. That's where you go to get your info. Hit him up on Facebook. He got it. He put his real name on Facebook. Hey, give me your Facebook real quick. Man, that's because, hey, man, you know, some people, they scared to put their real name out there because they telling it. on the low, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You put the real name I, on there. Oh, either they scared. I put my real name is David DJ, DJ Chuck, Chuck T. Thrower. That mean you can got damn Woo! name and, 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 and uh... And uh, Make and, and type, type my name into the federal prison system website and won't won't nothing come up, bro. Yeah, that's right, that's <laughs> right. That's how we doing. We no real telling up. over here, bro. You already know. But right now we in the Carolinas. But we finna take it to Pittsburgh, PA. We got Lee Davis promotion to push on the phone.